All right, so I think I'm going to get started, Ms. Fleming. Yes, I'm going to get started. Ms. Fleming is my boss on class day, and that's okay. So uh, good afternoon, everybody, uh, or almost afternoon. Uh, Superintendent Dr. Marguerite Rizzi, uh, members of the school committee, OMS faculty members scattered about the auditorium, family members, invited guests, people who were able to sneak in successfully. Congratulations. Um, and most especially, um, our eighth grade students, the class of 2022. Welcome to the, yeah, there they are. Welcome to the 2018 eighth grade class day ceremony. Um, to begin our festivities this late morning slash early afternoon, uh, we're going to do the national anthem, but we're going to do it a little bit differently. We're going to ask for some audience participation. Um, Sandra Awad, a.k.a. Princess Fiona, is going to lead us all. She's going to lead us all in the national anthem. So please rise for the singing of our national anthem. So proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the its red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the All right, thank you, Princess Fiona, a.k.a. Sandra Awad. And thank you, audience. That was great. You all turned into middle school uh, chorus students on the first day of class right there. You Like, no one really sang. <clears throat> you weren't really singing, but you were sort of mouthing the words. I sang. Um, and uh, now I know why I don't sing the national anthem um, for class day. Um, so, welcome uh, to the Class Day Ceremony. Let's start the official ceremony. Eighth graders, most of all, uh, welcome to you. That's probably kind of weird for me to welcome you on a school day, but you have stepped into a different venue and to a different kind of dimension here, moving on from us and heading off to high school. Today is the day that we celebrate the successful completion of your middle school years. First, I want to start by just congratulating all of you on this significant achievement and milestone in your lives. Um, I would like you all uh, to begin by joining me um, in giving the people who work so hard to help you get there thanks. Um, first and foremost, the family members behind you. Um, if you could give, turn, peek at them and give them a round of applause, that would be great. Um, um, and uh, next, I want to thank the caring and dedicated teachers, counselors, and administrators um, and staff at OMS, so take a look around and thank them. <laughs> and, 
And uh, before I introduce Dr. Rizzi, I wanted to make a, a special thank you to the three OMS teachers who will be retiring this school year, um, who've given their entire careers um, to the O'Donnell Middle School and will be missed, uh, Mr. Clough, Dr. Hoy, and Miss Nadeau. So a round of applause for them. Um, and now to say a few words, I would like to call up to the podium Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Marguerite Rizzi. Good morning. Well, yeah, okay. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be with you uh, during this very important um, time of transition in your lives. Um, I'm going to just make note that this particular class is going to be a part of history. You will be the last class to walk into this building as freshmen. And when you leave, you will not leave from here. You will leave from that new building being built in the corner of the property. So just a couple of things, and I promise I will be short. You have accomplished much. You have grown much. You have learned much in your time here at OMS. And you're now embarking on a new and exciting phase of your life. You'll be with old friends, and you will also make new ones. You'll pursue your interests with new depth, and you'll find new interests that you don't even anticipate now. You'll see that you are capable of things that you have no idea about yet. So try something new. Find an activity or an interest that you've never considered before. Reinvent and extend yourself into entirely new areas. If you think you've chosen a direction in life, well, that's great. And pursue it with passion. If you have no idea what you'd like to do, well, don't worry about that. I used to live under LaGuardia Airport, so I don't mind getting interrupted by loud noises. Life in high school will show you many possibilities and something will call to you. And I'm just going to suggest that you do not compare yourself to anyone. Each of us is different and there is nothing to be gained by that kind of comparison. It isn't what you think you come with that matters. It is how much effort you put into what you do. And if there's one decision that you make as you start high school, I suggest that it's this. Do not let anyone outwork you. The rest will take care of itself, and we will see you next year in the hallways of Stoughton High School. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Rizzi. Uh, and a couple of more thank yous uh, that are important to start with, I think, um, before I give you a brief little address for the last time told myself I'm not going to cry um, for the last time before you move on. Um, so uh, there is a person who um, almost single-handedly puts this day together. Um, she coordinates the whole thing. Um, she likes to be behind the scenes and not be mentioned. Um, and I like to uh, mention her and bring her up on stage because she hates it. It's a, little it's a little dance we have. It's fantastic. So um, Ms. Denise Fleming, eighth grade teacher extraordinaire, does this whole event. Yes, and I'm in a really good mood after yesterday, so I'm going flowers and a hug for Miss Fleming. Give her a round of applause. Yay! Yes. Thank you, Miss Fleming. Secretly cursing me all the way back to her spot, <laughs> and that's okay. Um, I want to thank all of the uh, parents who volunteered today. Uh, some of them 8th grade parents, some of them parents of 7th and 6th graders. Thank you very much for your help today. And as always, I want to thank the PTSO for all their support of everything we do at OMS. So thank you, parents and PTSO. Um, and I'd like to address the families, uh, the parents, grandparents, guardians, aunts, uncles, um, caretakers, 
folks who have helped these kids get to where they are today. I want to start by um, thanking you. Um, aside from being a middle school principal, I'm sure many people know because I talk about my own kids all the time that I am the father of an eighth grader. Um, just like you, I'm in the same boat. I just went to my son's um, promotion ceremony, Central Middle School, in Quincy, Massachusetts. Um, so I know what it's like to be at all the practices and games and concerts. And I know what it's like to be faced with this moment, the moment where your little baby steps away a bit and becomes independent, can be a little disconcerting. It's kind of a mixed set of emotions that you're experiencing. And I'm sure that if you're like me, you're thinking to yourself, am I really old enough to have a kid in high school? <laughs> Maybe you're not like me, but that's what I'm thinking. But... Now, yes, you are. You are old enough. Um, and seriously, I know that you are feeling proud and perhaps a bit apprehensive as you, as you prepare your baby. I will not refer to you again as baby, I swear, in the whole speech. Um, to go to high school. Um, and I know that you're thinking, I hope they're really prepared. They're going to be making a lot of decisions on their own. I think they're good kids. So far, they've been good kids. I hope they stay good kids. Are they going to stay good kids? Are they going to be tempted? Um, I know this. I've done middle school and I've done high school. And I know that good kids do well in high school and beyond. And I want to say something to the families of these particular eighth graders. You have raised some amazing kids here. These kids will be fine wherever they go. Trust me on that. So congratulations to you families. They are that class. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, and eighth graders, um, to you guys, congratulations. The first thing that I want you to do is appreciate the moment. So stop. I always do this. Take a look around for a second and appreciate the moment. Take a peek at the bunting. See this bunting? That's really nice, this big stage. The plants in front of the podium, they're artificial. <laughs> Take a look at the audience here and the cameras and the lights. You have made it out of middle school. Sure, absolutely. Think about how much you have grown in the last three years, literally and figuratively. I remember having to listen to your sixth grade teachers when you arrived. They went on and on about what a great class you were. This is the best group I've ever worked with. This con continued through your time at OMS. You have always been that class, that once in a great while class, a polite group of kids, not a lot of issues, bless you. Um, <laughs> teachers found pleasure in teaching. Uh, yesterday, you became that class, that first class, I hope the only class, in the history of the student-faculty basketball game who just destroyed us. Yeah. I mean. Yes, whatever. Whatever. We're not counting points. We're not counting points. We have been beaten once or twice in the history of that competition but only by a point or two, twice, I think. <laughs> Yesterday, I will admit, we were dismantled. I felt, like, I felt like a player in that movie that's coming out about the old basketball players. They're probably good in that movie, but they all have gray hair, but I just kept looking up at that clock like, there is no way that this much time <laughs> is left in this game, so. We got some work to do in the off season. We got to recruit some younger talent and we got to work out. I don't know what we got to do, but that was ugly. Congratulations, that's quite an accomplishment. Um, and on a totally different note, this past May, you became that class, like all of us, who had to deal with an unspeakable tragedy. This morning, Tiffany Davis uh, addressed the class um, in the cafetorium right before the class video and spoke so eloquently about how devastated we were as a community when we lost those four young men so suddenly. And we are all thinking of them in our ceremony this afternoon. Like all of you, I wondered how we could possibly get through the rest of the year. Sometimes you don't know what you're really made of until you are faced with something more difficult than you can wrap your head around, you guys included. 
In the face of this horrible circumstance, you became that class that, is, that exhibited compassion and solidarity. You became that class that in the worst of times came together to help one another and get through it. I know you will never forget the tragedy from this school year, but try not to forget how much you came together as one group in response to that tragedy. I know I won't. Remember to, the va remember to value respect the way that we taught you at OMS. I am not going to go through the whole acronym of respect like I have done so many times with you guys, but I want you to remember that as you leave us and go on to high school. When you go to high school and your buddies are making poor choices with consequences you are not willing to, res to risk, I want you to respect yourself enough to walk away. Don't forget to be the nice kid. Another thing Tiffany da Davis mentioned this morning. We didn't plan our speeches together, but that was pretty good. Um, another thing Tiffany mentioned this morning. Um, be the nice kid by having the same respect for others as you, as you have had uh, for yourself, as you have for yourself. And especially as you move on to high school and beyond, respect a world that owes you nothing. Success is not given out to you for free. It is not automatic that you're gonna do well next year. Whether you got straight A's in middle school or whether you're one of those kids who just barely made it today. <laughs> don't look, don't look at who was clapping, but that's a genuine clap right there. Um, high school is an opportunity. That's all it is. Next year's an opportunity. It's not an automatic. What's after that is an opportunity. That is also not automatic. Some will make the most of these opportunities and some will not. That's just the way that it is. It is your hard work and determination that will decide which category you fall into and nothing else. So remember that. We are, you are hitting the reset button, button this summer and you are starting fresh. So make the most of your opportunities next year and as you move on from high school. It's crazy to think about, but it's true. So we have seen you grow from lost little sixth graders who couldn't open a locker or figure out the lunch lines, couldn't find the classrooms that were right next door. I always love that with sixth graders. You're coming from room 106 and you're like, where's room 105? It's right next door. Or when we would remind you in sixth grade of what bus you were on at like noon and at 2.15, you would be like, what bus am I on? Well, look at you now. You've grown into fine young men and women, all dressed up and ready to move on from the O'Donnell Middle School forever. Well, I want you to know that we will really miss you guys, um, but we know you will do well in the next phase of your lives. Um, and we hope that you will come back and think of us fondly. And we wish you the best of luck. Um, and one last time, I just want you to repeat, fill in this blank if you can. Have a great day, OMS. Yes, congratulations, eighth graders. Best of luck. Okay, and so now we'll move on to the awards portion of the ceremony. Get your cameras ready. And I would like to call up um, to uh, present the Team 8A Certificates, ELA teacher, Mrs. Linda Rondo. Congratulations, eighth graders, most especially 8A. We will miss you, but the roller coaster ride is over. It's time for you to move on to the next step in your journey. To present the awards, Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Morning Announcer, Colin Alessi. <laughs> Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Morning Announcer, Academic Excellence in Spanish, National Junior Honor Society, Student Council, Mia Alley. <laughs> 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 
Taisha Altenor. Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Eighth Grade Concert Band, Extra Effort in Chorus, Academic Excellence in English, Academic Excellence in Algebra, Academic Excellence in French, Academic Excellence in Science, Marissa Ramos Spirit Award, Academic Excellence in Social Studies, National Junior Honor Society, Student Council, Eighth Grade Chorus, Ella Anderson. Eighth Grade Chorus, Eden Aponte Rodriguez. Eighth Grade Concert Band, Tevin Arthur. Most Improvement in Social Studies, Jamil Autentico. Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Academic Excellence in Math, Ian Avalon. Abiola Awalesi. Eighth grade concert band, Tyler Bagley. James Baker. Nicholas Belmonte. Jasper Blake. Most Improvement in English, Pamela Borda. Marissa Ramos Spirit Award, Most Improvement in Chorus, Eighth Grade Chorus, Angel Brooks. Eighth Grade Concert Band, Certificate in Drama for Shrek, Extra Effort in Art, Extra Effort in English, Marissa Ramos Spirit Award, National Junior Honor Society, Eighth Grade Chorus Honors, Carmela Brown. Most Improvement in STEM, Most Improvement in Social Studies, Eighth Grade Chorus, Juliana Carey. Eighth Grade Concert Band, Melody Kazna. Most Improvement in Art, Most Improvement in Mandarin Chinese, Marissa Ramos Spirit Award, Aiden Castillo. Eighth Grade Concert Band, Extra Effort in STEM, Jalen Castillo. Alexander Chisholm. Eighth grade concert band, Nicholas Cucuzzo. Brenna Coombs. Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Most Improvement in STEM, Extra Effort in English, Rondell Copeland. <laughs> Extra Effort in French, Samantha Croak. Most Improvement in Health and PE, Robert Carrier. <laughs> Morning announcer, extra effort in science, extra effort in algebra, eighth grade chorus, Mirabella DiMarino.
Eighth grade chorus, Mariana de Oliveira. Most improvement in math, extra effort in French, eighth grade chorus, Louisa de Souza. Eighth grade concert band, Javon Dudnoth. Dennis Dos Santos. Most improvement in math, extra effort in English, Angelina Dubovenko. <laughs> Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, eighth grade concert band, most improvement in band, extra effort in chorus, most improvement in health and PE, extra effort in algebra, Marissa Ramos Spirit Award, Extra effort in Spanish, National Junior Honor Society, eighth grade chorus, Abigail Duran. <laughs> Perfect attendance, eighth grade concert band, extra effort in Spanish, eighth grade chorus, Ariana Fornaro. Brad Franey. <laughs> Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Extra Effort in Health and PE, Anthony Girolamo. <laughs> Extra Effort in English, Joshua Greenspoon. Academic excellence in English, most improvement in English, academic excellence in math, extra effort in French, Ella Gutnick. <laughs> Thomas Heffernan. <laughs> most improvement in math, extra effort in social studies, Michael Enriquez. Eighth grade concert band, academic excellence in band, academic excellence in French, Rita Irons. Eighth grade concert band, Bart Hendrick Jabon. Eighth grade chorus, Alan Joseph. <laughs> Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Eighth grade concert band, Most Improvement in Chorus, Academic Excellence in STEM, Extra Effort in Science, Eighth grade chorus honors, Rory Kangeiser. Extra effort in health and PE, Evie Lamb. <laughs> Rinaldi Laridan. <laughs> Samuel Leach. <laughs> Most improvement in reading, extra effort in reading, academic excellence in reading. Academic excellence in English, academic excellence in art, extra effort in math, extra effort in social studies, Yasmin Lima Rocha. <laughs> Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Morning Announcer, Academic Excellence in English, Jonah Lee. Tay Marcellus.
Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, 8th Grade Concert Band, Academic Excellence in Band, 8th Grade Chorus, Joseph Mark. <laughs> Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Most Improvement in STEM, Kashmir Matherin. Eighth grade concert band, Bridget McDonald. <laughs> Presidential Award for Academic Achievement, Emily McNeil Jimenez. <laughs> Most Improvement in Algebra, eighth grade chorus, Colby Montville. Academic Excellence in Health and PE, Jake Murphy. <laughs> Most Improvement in Science, 8th Grade Chorus, Christy Nguyen. <laughs> Academic Excellence in Art, Most Improvement in Algebra, Math Club, Sarah Nim. Extra effort in math, extra effort in STEM, eighth grade chorus, Madigan O'Brien. Eighth grade concert band, Colin Ozturk. Extra effort in English, most improvement in art, Jennifer Pereira Rocha. Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence, Most Improvement in English, Academic Excellence in Art, Joseph Petrillo. <laughs> Most Improvement in English, Valdir Pierre. <laughs> Jayla Pina. Presidential Award for Academic Achievement, James Price. <laughs> Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Academic Excellence in French, Frederick Richard. <laughs> Owen Roddy. Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Academic Excellence in Algebra, Academic Excellence in Science, Academic Excellence in Spanish, Zachary Roos. <laughs> Fabiana Santos de Pina. Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Academic Excellence in Math, Academic Excellence in Health and PE, Extra Effort in Spanish, Academic Excellence in Social Studies, Michaela Snyder. Eighth Grade Chorus, Darnell Stowers. Academic Excellence in Chorus, 8th Grade Chorus, Cheyenne Strother. <laughs> Extra Effort in STEM, Most Improvement in Math, Connor Tadamella. <laughs> 8th Grade Concert Band, Academic Excellence in Chorus, most improvement in band, academic excellence in French, eighth grade chorus, Eric Teodoro. <laughs> Anthony Toledo. <laughs> eighth 
eighth grade concert band, academic excellence in Mandarin Chinese, Hunter Tran. Eighth grade concert band, Louis Travassos. And last but not least, most improvement in Spanish, extra effort in art, Savior Vega Alobedi. All right, thank you, Ms. Rondo, Ms. Prasker. Congratulations, Team 8A. And now to present the 8B, Team 8B certificates, Mrs. Karen Corey, assisted uh, by Ms. Hogan. you guys, Team 8B, Caitlin Abbott, extra effort in STEM, sorry. Extra effort in math, Pedro Algerin. Okay, thank you. Try to get a little help. Sure. Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, extra effort in math, extra effort in Spanish, Connor Andrews. Eighth grade concert band, eighth grade chorus, Abigail Babahide. Babahide. Most improvement in math, Timothy Barry. Presidential award for outstanding academic achievement, most improvement in art, most improvement in Spanish, extra effort in science, most Improvement in Social Studies, 8th Grade Chorus, Honore Buddha. <laughs> 8th Grade co Concert Band, Anthony Burroughs. <laughs> Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, 8th Grade Concert Band, Most Improvement in STEM, Michael Burroughs. Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Most Improvement in Chorus, 8th Grade Chorus, Ariana Campbell. <laughs> Morning Announcer, Extra Effort in Social Studies, Math Club, Tyler Chamberlain. <laughs> Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Most Improvement in Social Studies, Brady Clark. Eighth grade concert band, Marissa Ramos Spirit Award. Eighth grade, co eighth grade chorus, student council, Tiffany Davis. Mo most improvement in Mandarin Chinese, Raheem Duchesne. Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, 8th Grade Concert Band, Most Improvement in Band, Extra Effort in Spanish, Kimberly Durden. <laughs> Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, 8th Grade Concert Band, Extra Effort in Chorus, Most Improvement in Band, National Junior Honor Society, 8th Grade Chorus, Jacqueline Enochian. Certificate in Drama for Shrek, Extra Effort in English, Marcel Espinoza. <laughs> Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence, 8th Grade Concert Band, Academic Excellence in Band, Academic Excellence in Science, Extra Effort in Health and PE, 
Academic Excellence in Spanish, Academic Excellence in Social Studies, Nathan Faria. Jace Freeman McCarthy. Eighth grade chorus, Gina Ganjemi. Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Extra Effort in Social Studies, Eighth Grade Chorus, Ariana Guzman. Extra Effort in Spanish, Academic Excellence in Math, Malachi Harris. Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, 8th Grade Concert Band, Jordan Harrison. <laughs> 8th Grade Concert Band, Griffin Harvey. 8th. Extra Effort in Health and PE, Nina Hatch. Presidential Award for Outstanding Acad Academic Achievement, Academic Excellence in French, Academic Excellence in English, Richard Anthony Hearn. <laughs> Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence, Academic Excellence in Health and PE, Academic Excellence in Art, Academic Excellence in Science, Academic Excellence in French, Marissa Ramos Spirit Award, Evan Hoover. Eighth grade concert band, Marissa Ramos Spirit Award, Xavier Israel. Extra effort in social studies, Essence James Munn. Michael Jardim. <laughs> most improvement in English, most improvement in math, eighth grade, cor eighth grade chorus, Morgan Johnston. <laughs> Liam Joyce. Extra effort in social studies, Michaela Kelly. <laughs> Tyler Kosh. <laughs> Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, eighth grade concert band, extra effort in science, academic excellence in Spanish, Academic Excellence in Social Studies, 8th Grade Chorus, Jasmine Lamott. <laughs> Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Academic Excellence in Spanish, Academic Excellence in Health and PE, Academic Excellence in English, Vivi Lee. David Samuel Leo. Oh, yeah. Eighth grade concert band, Cameron Leslie. Yeah. Extra effort in math, Tatiana Lopes. Academic Excellence in Mandarin Chinese, 8th grade chorus, Sophia Lorenko. <laughs> Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Jessica Maddalena. <laughs> Joseph McNulty.
Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence, Eighth Grade Concert Band, Academic Excellence in Band, Marissa Ramos Spirit Award, National Junior Honor Society, Eighth Grade Chorus, Honors, Student Council, Celia Mello. Eighth Grade Concert Band, Academic Excellence in Art, Academic Excellence in Spanish, Morgan Mooney. Eighth Grade Concert Band, Certificate in Drama for Shrek, Academic Excellence in Chorus, Eighth Grade Chorus, Daniel Nascimento. Tammy Nguyen. <laughs> Academic Excellence in STEM, National Junior Honor Society, Eighth Grade Chorus, Riley O'Connell. <laughs> Extra Effort in Social Studies, Alexander Olazabal. Eighth grade chorus, Isabel Paquette. Oh, thank you. Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Emmett Pearl. Thank you. Most Improvement in Art, Eighth grade chorus, Alex Peliquin. Eric Pernock. Eighth grade concert band, eighth grade chorus, Alyssa Powers. Most improvement in STEM, Razia Ramdwar. Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Eighth Grade Concert Band, Extra Effort in English, Yearbook Club, Academic Excellence in Chorus, Academic Excellence in Spanish, National Junior Honor Society, Eighth Grade Chorus Honors, April Richardson. <laughs> Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Eighth grade concert band, certificate in drama for Shrek, most improvement in chorus, extra effort in art, extra effort in math, most improvement in Spanish, eighth grade chorus, Brittany Riley. Yes. <laughs> Presidential award for outstanding academic achievement, Brooke Roderick. Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Conrad Rogers. <laughs> Eric Rosetto. <laughs> Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Academic Excellence in Math, Tracy Saw. Most Improvement in Math, Tamba Sewa. <laughs> Abdul Rahman Shabeda. <laughs> Presidential Award for Out Outstanding Academic Achievement. Eighth grade concert band, most improvement in science, extra effort in English, 
Academic Excellence in Spanish, National Junior Honor Society, Eighth Grade Chorus, Sina Shep. <laughs> Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Eighth Grade Concert Band, Most Improvement in Science, Extra Effort in Chorus, Academic Excellence in Spanish, National Junior Honor Society, Eighth Grade Chorus, Yasmin Souza. <laughs> Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Extra Effort in Art, Academic Excellence in English, Platone Sopranovich. Colin. Colin Syrek. Extra effort in reading, Philip Takang. Certificate in Drama for Shrek, Most Improvement in English, Marissa Ramos Spirit Award, Most Improvement in Spanish, 8th Grade Chorus, Jaden Tolbert. <laughs> Certificate in Drama for Shrek, Science Club, Academic Excellence in STEM, Patrick Tolley. Extra Effort in English, 8th Grade Chorus, James Tracy. <laughs> Kalechi Yuguakazi. And last but not least, Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Eighth Grade Concert Band, Certificate in Drama for Shrek, Most Improvement in French, Academic Excellence in Math, Emmanuel White. Good job. Thank you, Ms. Hogan and Ms. Corey. And now to present the, uh, and congratulations, 8B. Congratulations, 8B. Oh, yeah. And now to present the uh, Team 8C certificates, uh, Mr. Richard Grasso and Ms. Jen Gritter Huntley Gritter. I'm going to do this freehand. I'm not even going to look at I'm, I'm not even going to look at him. Oh. <laughs> so my biggest fear is that I drop all these alphabetical order uh, and Miss Fleming chases me around the auditorium. <laughs> so the teachers of uh, Team 8C would like to congratulate all the 8th graders today. Congratulations on a, a great accomplishment. Man, so young has to wear glasses. It's horrible. So. Um, eighth grade chorus, Kaylee Amato. <clears throat> Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Eighth Grade Concert Band, Certificate in Drama for Shrek, Most Improvement in Chorus, Academic Excellence in Art, Extra Effort in English, Academic Excellence in French. <laughs> 
academic excellence in social studies, extra effort in science, eighth grade chorus, Sandra Awad. <laughs> Zofia Bangs. <laughs> Most improvement in science, eighth grade chorus, A uh, Ava Belmont, excuse me. <laughs> Extra effort in French, eighth grade chorus, Stephanie Bento. Eighth grade concert band, extra effort in health and PE, Justin Bethelmy. Most improvement in science, Thomas Bly. Eighth grade chorus, Crystal Brooks. Kurt Brooks. Eighth grade concert band, extra effort in algebra, extra effort in Spanish, most improvement in STEM, extra effort in health and PE, Marissa Ramos Spirit Award, National Junior Honor Society, Kate Bulger. <laughs> Joseph Chula. Eighth grade concert band, eighth grade chorus, Sophia Coheno. Edward Conrad. Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, eighth grade concert band, most improvement in band, academic excellence in Spanish, National Junior Honor Society, Eighth grade chorus, Juliana Craig. Eighth grade concert band, Aiden Curtis. Jeffrey De Silva. Eighth grade concert band, extra effort in math, Kaylee Davis. Alan De La Rosa Polanco. Erica Diaz. Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, eighth grade concert band, academic excellence in health and PE, most improvement in algebra, extra effort in French, National Junior Honor Society, eighth grade chorus, Ajvi Dixit. <laughs> Zatia Durant. <laughs> Eighth grade chorus, Paris Elder. Most improvement in English, Sean Farger. Jasmine Figueroa. Extra effort in art, Liam Flanagan. Eighth grade chorus, Dana Franceschi. <laughs> Kayla Frierson. <laughs> Eighth grade chorus, Mackenzie Garcia.
Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, 8th Grade Concert Band, 8th Grade Chorus, Richard Gillespie. Darius Gomes. Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Academic Excellence in Math, Extra Effort in Social Studies, 8th Grade Chorus, Emily Hoffman. Eighth grade chorus, Matthew Howe. Most improvement in English, Ryan Jasmine. Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Extra Effort in Spanish, Marissa Ramos Spirit Award, Grace Lally. Sophia Leva. <laughs> Certificate in Drama for Shrek, Most Improvement in Spanish, Eighth Grade Chorus, Victoria Leva. <laughs> Eighth Grade Concert Band, Hope Littlefield. Diana Lise Lugo Cabrea. Cabrea. Sorry. Eighth grade concert band, Academic Excellence in Algebra, Academic Excellence in Chorus, Science Club, Academic Excellence in French, Eighth grade chorus, Hun Lee. Lantre Mack. Most Improvement in Social Studies, Markenzie Magnin. Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Eighth Grade Concert Band, Extra Effort in Chorus. Academic Excellence in Spanish, Academic Excellence in Band, National Junior Honor Society, Eighth Grade Chorus, Annalisa Markman. <laughs> Jonathan Basin. Extra Effort in English, Marissa Ramos Spirit Award, Colleen McGeckern. It's a thing. John McGeckern. It's a thing. Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Academic Excellence in STEM. Most Improvement in Algebra, Most Improvement in Health and PE, Academic Excellence in Spanish, Academic Excellence in Social Studies, Sydney Menz. <laughs> Eighth Grade Chorus, Sharice Munio. Eighth grade concert band, Extra Effort in Spanish, Michele Oliveira. <laughs> Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Academic Excellence in Science, Most Improvement in Chorus, Academic Excellence in French, Eighth grade chorus, Genesis Parker. National Junior Honor Society, Daniel Pestana. <laughs> Kayla Presswood. Luke Ramsdell. <laughs> Luke Ramsdell. 
Marissa Ramos Spirit Award, Extra Effort in Science, Eighth Grade Chorus, Carly Raymond. Again, it's a thing. Sorry. Elizabeth R Rivera. <laughs> Joshua Rivera. Eighth grade concert band, extra effort in chorus, most improvement in social studies. Eighth grade chorus, Julia Roberts. <laughs> Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence, Science Club, Robotics, Academic Excellence in Spanish, National Junior Honor Society, Benjamin Rosen. Eighth grade chorus, Isabella Ryan. <laughs> Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Eighth Grade Concert Band, Academic Excellence in Spanish, Extra Effort in Social Studies, Academic Excellence in English, National Junior Honor Society, Eve Sade. <laughs> Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence, Eighth Grade Concert Band, Academic Excellence in English, Robotics, Science Club, Academic Excellence in Social Studies, Academic Excellence in PE Health, Academic Excellence in Algebra, Academic Excellence in Spanish, National Junior Honor Society, Math Club, Anish Sinha. <laughs> Patrick Smith. Serenity Stokes Joseph. <laughs> Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Eighth Grade Concert Band, Extra Effort in Art, Academic Excellence in Spanish, National Junior Honor Society, Katie Tang. <laughs> Eighth Grade Concert Band, most improvement in math, eighth grade chorus, Cameron Texera. <laughs> Anthony Tilton. <laughs> Perfect attendance, eighth grade concert band, extra effort in Spanish, most improvement in band, Celine Tran. Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Eighth Grade Concert Band, Academic Excellence in Band, Academic Excellence in Art, Academic Excellence in Chorus, Academic Excellence in Spanish, Junior National Honor Society, Eighth Grade Chorus, Samantha Tran. <laughs> Jet Tran Berger. Perfect attendance, extra effort in STEM, extra effort in math, most improvement in math, extra effort in social studies, math club, eighth grade chorus, Chase Trainham. <laughs> Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, extra effort in algebra, academic excellence in STEM, most improvement in health and PE, Academic Excellence in Science, Most Improvement in French, Owen Weisenberger. <laughs> Yearbook Club, Robotics, Academic Excellence in Math, Joshua White. Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence, Eighth Grade Concert Band, Melissa Ramos Spirit Award, Extra Effort in Social Studies, Academic Excellence in Spanish, Most Improvement in Art, Michaela Williams.
And last but not least, Brady Yanoff. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Grasso. Uh, thank you, Ms. Huntley, Gritter Huntley. And congratulations, Team 8C. Yes. Okay. Um, so just a couple of notes about some of the awards the kids, or the recognition that the kids already received. So students receive um, recognition for participation, significant participation in extracurricular activities, as you heard, and for accomplishments in certain academic areas. Congratulations to all those students. I also just wanted to note that the Melissa Ramos Spirit Award winners won't be announced for a little while. The kids who got those certificates were the nominees from their team, so stay tuned for that. And I also just wanted to mention the National Junior Honor Society. Um, the students who participate, I think we have more than 30 eighth graders who participate in the National Junior Honor Society. Uh, the students who do that particular club have an academic requirement, a service requirement, and a leadership slash character component. So I just wanted all the NJHS kids to stand up really quick and be recognized. NJHS. All right, now you can sit down. Nice job, guys. And now to present the Madalena Fernandez Award, uh, Mrs. Regas and Mrs. Boyrazian. Bonjour, hola, and ni hao, eighth grade, and guests. Jamil, nice job, ça va. Okay, so, um, as a member of the World Language Department at the OMS, it's my pleasure to present the fourth annual Madalena Fernandez Award for Excellence in a World Language. Let me tell you, Mr. Colantonio, your favorite sentence favorite expression. Let me tell you what this award represents and who could qualify for it. This award is named after Mrs. Fernandez, a beloved retired middle school foreign language teacher, as a recognition for her 35 years of service in the Stoughton Public Schools. I'm sure not many students here um, recognize her name because she's been retired for a few years now. But I'm certain that some of the parents in the audience may have had her as their teacher when they were in the OMS. We choose to dedicate this award to her because of her dedication to her students, her eternal love for teaching, and her passion for world languages. During her career, Mrs. Fernandez taught French, Spanish, Portuguese, and English as a second language to thousands of Stoughton children. This award recognizes eighth grade Spanish, French, and Chinese students for their outstanding academic achievement and natural curiosity for the language and culture of their study. It also takes into consideration qualities that Mrs. Fernandez valued and always tried hard to instill in each and every one of her students. Leadership, integrity, respect, work ethic, and a positive attitude. The World Language Department has selected the following three students to be the recipients of the 2018 Maralena Fernandez Award for Excellence in a World Language. Ms. Boregian will assist me in giving out the awards. Students, as you hear your name be called, please come up on stage to receive your award. For Chinese Mandarin, the award goes to Sofia Lorenko. For Spanish, the award goes to Sydney Menz. For French, the award goes to Eric Teodoro. Congratulations to all three of you guys.
Congratulations, guys. I got to figure out a way to have Miss Regis do this whole ceremony. I could listen to her read the phone book. It would be great. Uh, and now uh, to present the Music Awards, Miss Betty Bowman. Thank you, Mr. Colantonio. It is my pleasure, along with Mr. Keith Kerbo, to present this year's Music Awards. Each of you who participated in band, chorus, and the OMS Spring Musical have received certificates acknowledging your achievements in those groups this year. I'm so pleased that many of you will continue to study music at the high school and beyond. Whether you are taking a music class next year or not, I hope that every single one of you will find a way to continue to be a musician in some way. Additionally, we have several trophies to present to students who went above and beyond their OMS performances this year. These students auditioned for and were accepted into highly selective choruses and bands that drew students from all over southeastern Massachusetts. As a part of these ensembles, our students rehearsed and performed with other highly committed middle school and high school students at festivals this past spring. I will now call their names and I'll ask you to hold your applause until the end of the list. Daniel Nascimento, April Richardson, and Angel Brooks performed with the Junior District Chorus. Rory Kangeiser performed with the Junior Semsba Chorus. And Celia Mello and Abby Durange performed with the Junior Semsba Band. Congratulations to these six students. <laughs> and to all of the OMS music students who have accomplished so much this year. Daniel, April, Angel, Rory, Celia, and Abby, please come up to receive your trophies. All right, congratulations, guys. Um, round of applause. We are almost there. Um, so the next um, recognition that we want to do, the Project 351 uh, nominees and ambassadors already recognized earlier in the year. Uh, these are students who are recognized for their spirit of service um, and giving back to the school community for their quiet leadership. So these students, I just want to recognize you again at class day and have you stand. So Ella Anderson, Stephanie the Bento Box Bento, Nathan Faria, Evan Hoover, Annalisa Markman, Celia Mello, Daniel Nascimento, you guys are standing up right now, Austin Nguyen, Genesis Parker, April Richardson, Sina Sheff, Eric Teodoro, Samantha Tran, Michaela Williams, and our... Our ambassador this year was Mr. Emmanuel White, your Project 351 ambassador. So you may be seated. We just wanted to rec recognize you guys. We know you already got your certificates and your hardware and your school committee recognition. Um, so the next award um, that I would like to give, if I can find it, Uh, so each year I give um, uh, a principal's award. Uh, and my principal's award is an award that is sponsored by the Massachusetts School Administrators Association, an organization that has been very kind to me this year. Um, so I thank them. And the principal's award is not necessarily for the student with the highest GPA. That student will undoubtedly be recognized um, this evening and was already recognized um, this evening. Uh, it's not necessarily for um, uh, school spirit and it's not necessarily for um, the best all-around student like Emil Farrington. Oftentimes, the Student Achievement Award, uh, the Principal's Award, is given for a student who may have made a mistake or two in his or her life uh, and possibly recovered from those mistakes 
may have been dealing with something outside of school that was pretty significant that no one would ever know about, or it might just be for a student who has made an exceptional contribution to the overall school community. This is a pretty difficult group um, to pick just a couple of kids for this award, um, but I'm going to do so anyway. Uh, and please note, this is not the last um, award of the evening. Um, but I picked one boy and one girl, um, a student who has made significant contributions on the morning announcements, uh, has done the play-by-play -play for most um, student faculty competitions that we've had, seems to be everywhere at everything. Um, and he's like Mr. OMS sometimes, TJ Chamberlain. Um, and uh, to a female student who has grown leaps and bounds in sixth grade. Um, she made some amazing contributions to the school community this year. I'm pretty sure she ran the field day yesterday, perhaps with, perhaps with no adult supervision. Dr. Rizzi, I may, we just caught her for a moment. She was out there running it by herself, but she's done amazing things this year. She gave you your school address, student address earlier, Tiffany Davis. Okay, two more to go. Um, uh, so I love this next award. Uh, this is uh, the presentation of the Marissa Ramos Spirit Award. Uh, so Marissa Ramos was an OMS and SHS student uh, with a love for life and Disney, a wonderful smile, and an amazing strength and spirit. Those of us lucky enough to have worked with Marissa will always remember her for these things. Sadly, in 2014, we lost Marissa. People who knew her may not have known that she had struggled with a heart disorder, um, and we lost her in 2014. To honor her memory, uh, Marissa's family has established an award for two deserving OMS students, one boy and one girl, who exhibit the same spirit. This is not necessarily an award just for school spirit, about being at events and cheering your um, your classmates on. It is an award for so students who embody that smile and strength and positivity that Marissa carried herself with every day while she was at school, no matter what she was going through. I want to thank the Ramos family for this award. Mr. and Mrs. Ramos should be coming up the stairs right now. Marissa's brother, Cam, could not be here today. Um, he typically makes an appearance, but I'm sure he is here in spirit. And he's just like Marissa. He's a wonderful guy. So we thank Cam, too. And uh, I'm going to have the nominees. You've heard them already. The nominees were mentioned as their names were called. Stand up. And then the winners are going to come up and receive their award up here. So from Team 8A, your nominees are Ella Anderson, Carmela Brown, please stand up, Aiden Castillo, Abigail Duran, Angel Brooks. From Team 8B, Tiffany Davis, Xavier Israel, Evan Hoover, Celia Mello, and Jaden Tolbert. From Team 8C, Kate Bulger, Grace Lally, Colleen McEckern, Carly Raymond, and Michaela Williams. Please recognize all these nominees.
And your 2018 Marissa Ramos Spirit Award goes to Carmela Brown and Jaden Tolbert. Thanks again to the Ramos family, and congratulations, guys, on your award. Um, so the last award of the evening um, is the Emil Farrington Award. Emil Farrington, um, the award was named for an extraordinary Stoughton citizen who gave back to the community and especially the, to the schools in Stoughton. Emil Farrington was a man of outstanding character, and the students nominated for this award have been recognized as the best all-around eighth graders of their class. Not only are they outstanding students, they are outstanding young men and women. So this is a particularly talented group, a wonderful class, and the way that the Emil Farrington Award works is not very mysterious. We ask teachers to nominate students who are deserving of the award, um, and then it's kind of a silent vote to see who the winners are. We had more nominees than we've ever had before. We've had more votes than we've had before than we've ever had before, and we had pretty close races for that first and second spot. There was a time when we did not mention the nominees for this award. We used to just say the winners, and that's it. But I think it is such an accomplishment just to be nominated um, that a few years ago we decided to um, list all of the nominees. So, just like we did with the Marissa Ramos Spirit Award, I'm going to ask all of the nominees to stand and be recognized, and then we'll call the winners up. So your Emil Farrington Award nominees this year for the males, Connor Andrews, <laughs> Tyler Chamberlain, Nathan Faria, Evan Hoover, Jonah Lee, Kashmir Mathurin, Daniel Nascimento, Zachary Roos, Anish Sinha, Patrick Smith, Hunter Tran, Owen Weisenberger. Those are your guys. Congratulations, guys. And our female nominees, Ella Anderson, Zofia Bangs, Abigail Durand, Ariana Guzman, Rory Kangeiser, Jasmine Lamott, Yasmin Lima Rocha, Sophia Lorenko, Annalisa Markman, Celia Mello, Genesis Parker, April Richardson, Michaela Snyder, Samantha Tran, and Michaela Williams. A round of applause for all the nominees. And the winners of the 2018 Emil Farrington Award, Michaela Williams and Nathan Farrier.
Okay, um, I'm going to forget to say this, and all the photographers are going to get mad at me, but if you were nominated for the Emil Farrington Award, if you are on that long list of nominees, um, and, or if you won the um, Emil Farrington Award, there is a group photo right after the ceremony, right out here in the hallway. Okay, so nominees and winners. Group photo right out there in the hallway. I think we got photos of everyone else while we went. Um, so a couple of dismissal notes um, before I forget to mention those. Uh, we, there is a reception. Thank you, parents and PTSO, for the reception downstairs in the SHS cafeteria. Um, there's some light snacks and refreshments. We can do photos down there, and we can gather. If you are dismissing your child today, you are free to dismiss right from the reception. If you are a student staying with us for the buses this afternoon or for a ride a little bit later, we will be meeting at the entrance to be first at Stoughton High School um, around 2 o'clock, and we'll all go back to the OMS together. Students are going to be dismissed row by row, right by Miss Fleming, down to the calf that way. Parents, we're going to ask you to exit the way that you came in and go meet your children down in the uh, patio or the cafeteria doors. One more time, I want to say congratulations to the class of 2022. <laughs> You did it. Um, kids, sit tight. Enjoy the reception. Parents, please exit out the back the way that you came in. Thank you.